The mission of the task force is to keep the lake healthy and usable as a, as a recreational asset, but also beautiful. What makes the task force so effective is it uses science, it uses public education, it uses the passion of the people living in the lake community to make sure that it, that it stays healthy. The reality is, if water quality ever takes a big dive, there's a lot of things that go along with it, not only from an environmental standpoint, but from an economic standpoint. I grew up in the summers at Lake Waramog. I grew up here on Lake Waramog. Um, spent many years swimming as a kid in the, in the water. I really fell in love with the lake as a rower in college. We raced in this bay. Uh, I learned how to swim here uh, in the 1950s. In the 70s, I remember going back to school after a nice summer with green hair. Our hair would actually turn green from the water. It was green, um, it was unswimmable at times. And by the 1980s, I couldn't go near the lake because uh, the algae blooms were getting so bad that uh, I was allergic to it. That it wasn't just an inconvenience or an aesthetic problem, but it was a potential health problem as well. And that's when I got interested in the, uh, in the task force. If the problems at Lake Warmock had not been addressed in the 80s, its recreational value, the land values, just the beauty of the place would be, um, it would be totally different had the task force um, not taken the initiative when they did. I mean, over the last 20 years, the water clarity in this lake has gotten better and better every year. The task force is really focused on keeping the positive water quality trends that it's had in the past into the future because all the lakes here in Litchfield County are really on a downward water quality trend. And Warmog is the only one that's actually experiencing improving water quality parameters. The task force has come up with some very innov innovative programs and one of them is uh, the zooplankton farm on the, on the tip of Arrow Point. We're here at Frost Basin today to uh, show you guys how we grow zooplankton to uh, allow them to go into the lake and eat the cyanobacteria that causes algae blooms. So here we are at the, uh, one of the four aeration units we have on the lake and these aeration bubblers help keep the water well oxygenated. It looks very, looks like a big torpedo. It uh, looks like a simple mechanism, but it's very complicated in the way um, to create this stratification, this layer in the lake that keeps the nutrients down at the bottom and the healthier, clearer water uh, at the top. It's very important to us to keep the lake viable for the community, and, uh, and it's in good hands with the task force. I'm very proud to be on the board. With a healthy lake, we're really able to take advantage of um, a really gorgeous setup. The sun moves in a way that you can chase down in your kayak or on your paddle board. I felt it was my duty to get involved with the task force because I love this lake so much. And that's why it's so important for folks to support the task force so that we can continue with everything that's going on on the lake and in the watershed. Without those donations, we could be facing a real disaster again. And so it's important to me to help educate people and spread the word about how essential it is to get the community involved in supporting the lake in whatever way they can. Uh, we have a Facebook and Instagram page. Please like us, share us, get the word out. We need your support.